Do you sing the prison blues again? This one. Go. <laughs> the prison blues. I was actually thinking about a song for Pakistan. Yeah, you should yeah. you should definitely write a song for Pakistan. Yeah, you know, we're surrounded by elite commandos and they have yeah. no fear branding on their shirts. Yeah, it's so crazy. <laughs> it's just you wake up in the morning and there's just this police squad that's just just there always. Like you wake up, they're there. The first one sees you when you get out of the room, they call all the others and then then it's ready to go now. We go now. We go. They will show up here in a second and then we go now. Good. So we just want to go to Lahore now as quick as possible because apparently they go away then. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Probably not. We heard that too many times. Too yeah. many times. We've oh. heard like uh, no guard in 40 kilometers. Just just uh, 30 kilometers. Uh, just another kilometer. Uh, any kind of kilometer. It's never 30 kilometers. They never go. Oh, I'm just so knackered, really. I haven't had a proper sleep in days. <sighs> All right. Just another day in paradise. I stay here. No, I stay here. I want to be wedged in between the trucks. All right, bye. Uh, it's really hard to make a vlog today. I'm just so exhausted by all this. Let's do it. Let's get to Lahore. So for the first time now, one of the security police guys explained to us what the actual problem is. Apparently there's some intelligence agencies that want to harm Pakistan and follow travelers, Westerners, and uh, want to, yeah, you know, he reckons they shoot them. And uh, this is why they give us uh, the escort. Yeah, but I thought the problem is only in Baluchistan, but apparently it's like everywhere up until Lahore, so. Now we know why this all this madness but yes actually the first time somebody really explained it to us like before it was also before it was only like a security issues blah blah, blah. but yeah it's so it's exhausting really it is really crazy crazy once again it's the freaking governments that ruin it for everybody. Government freaking agencies. Fourteen thousand kilometers on the tires, pretty good, eh? Oh, man, I'm so so exhausted, eh? And it's hot, very hot. But look at the trucks. Yeah, we're just, just here having a break and 
charging a little bit. I just charge on six amps. I, I think that's just the only way it works here with these power outlets. Yeah, just stupid, stupid zero motorcycle up still that let me log in and yeah, they just they just told me yeah, it's because of you and you and well I'm in Pakistan now still doesn't work and they yeah, are they don't even reply to my emails anymore so yeah they're just just useless just a little help would have been nice with this because I'm just so dependent on that app to see you how Eve's doing and how, how how she's charging where she is with the GPS tracking but yeah can't can't use the app for a month now just sucks I know you guys watch this from zero please get it get it sorted that would be lovely It's just so freaking impatient. Goodbye. Can't even take a leak without them following you to the bathroom. It's just, it's just so annoying, eh? But got a good 10% charge. We had something to eat. And here we go again. Riding until the night. Oh, I'm s <laughs> can't wait to get to Lahore and have this over with. Man, every single step they're just right next to you with their AK-47 assist. It's just insane. Never experienced anything like it in my life. But yeah, it's all for our safety, obviously. Let's do it. from you guys we are security. no you're fucking pissing us off please sit behind me we drive my truck at 70k okay. without following you guys just behind us so just sit works. behind us. us yeah that's but cool we just want to we tell the last guys tell the next guys as soon as we tell you where we're going you set us up with another escort and we don't want it it's over this is not it Iran was supposed to be dangerous. This is fucking police state right now. For Rufus, it's just so fucked up with his truck. When they're in front of him, like he always has to, you know, like brake hard and all this. And they, they just won't stay behind us. I mean, they could, they could secure us just staying behind us. That would be actually, you know, like, and we wouldn't even have to notice them. But they always come in front and they, they break and they, it's just it's just hard for him. It's really hard for him. For me, it's, it's okay. I don't mind it so much, but for him, it's like super hard to drive with them in front of us all the time. And it's also very hard. does not stop.
That's a fucking drug. Every 10 minutes there's a new escort. We're not even stopping anymore because it's no point really, it's just a waste of time. We're just going and they catch up eventually. Can't get rid of them, can't get rid of them. Hey man. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Ah, oh, the craziness. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Luckily I have kind of a snow plow in front of me, that's awesome. And he has a cool fog horn. This way. They want us to go straight. Yeah, but we have to go this way. Yeah? I'm really starting to enjoy the crazy, I must admit. We get used to it. The only, the only ones that are super annoying is the freaking police trying to tell us where to go, what to do. It's just the people here are so friendly. Ugh, it's so dusty. Everybody, <coughs> oh, everybody's waving at us. It's cool. Freaking police. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Ridiculous. Wow! Oh, almost there. We did 361 kilometers. Six <laughs> percent. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's some crazy night riding. <laughs> Freaking police just rammed into me on at the at the corner, eh? Man, I'm done with the police, really. But this is just so mad. 
Hey, Eve. <laughs> nobody prepares you for Pakistan, really. Nobody, nobody talks about the crazy shit online when I did my research. Just like, oh yeah, there's some police escort. <laughs> Holy. Burewala. I love Burewala. <laughs> it's uh, I love how Rufus just plows through everything. No fear, no fear. Right, we made it to the hotel. Those guys are trying to figure out a way to get inside and to park somewhere, and I tried to figure out a room for me and charging. Man, that was fun. Okay. Yeah. Please show me your identity card. My, my, your what? Identity card. Selfie, get in there, Raf. Go get on in, in there. Dive in. How does it feel like getting the VIP treatment? Uh, I don't know who's more important here, the wedding or us? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy. It's pretty, right? pretty crazy, but uh, hey, this is Pakistan. This is, <laughs> this is Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> See those guys in the back? Those are our escorts, and they won't leave our side, no matter what we do. And there's another three guys from the police securing the hotel for the night. It's, it's a little bit overkill, but it's all for our safety. Apparently. Apparently. And tomorrow we'll go to Lahore. And up, yeah. Oh. Sorry, I'm so to sorry. We, we go to Lahore tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. And, and hopefully everything will be over. And we can finally be free. Free in Pakistan. <laughs> don't believe it. I don't still. believe it.